Hello, little ladies and gentlemen. I'll be casting for you today a game be between Kale and Spinal. Spinal is on the bottom right side of the map. This map is ravaged, ravaged, a pretty good map. I've had many GGs here, as probably most Little War game veteran players did. It's a, it's a very fun map. Um, let me talk you. Let me talk to you a little bit about what I'm doing right now. I have had a lot of replays sent to me back in the early days of this year, and unfortunately, due to various reasons, I wasn't able to record them. So, what I want to do in the next few days, or maybe next few weeks is to record these games that people kindly sent to me so we can have some fun and I don't know if you have uh, a more recent game of the newest version maybe send some my way and maybe I'll cast those two as we can see here Ko is scouting his opponent which is very good for him he sees that a barracks is being made so he pretty much knows what his enemy's build is gonna be, while Spinal has no idea what Ko is doing. <laughs> he only knows that he's harassing him and is probably calling him uh, a lot of bad names right now. He brings another worker to hopefully finish this barracks. I would use both workers right now to just kill this little guy so he can finish his, his barracks here. Instead of doing that, he lets this guy leave. He's gonna come back and live a, a long and healthy life as a gold miner back in Kale's base. Meanwhile, Kale, uh, he is just focusing on his economy. He's just making workers and more workers, which is gonna put him in a good spot, though Spinal is also expanding right now. So... He's not, a, he's not gonna be that far ahead. As we can see, they've mined both the, the same amount of gold, rough, roughly. So yeah, besides catching up with this old replace people sent me, which I feel very guilty about not recording, I have had many, many problems, some of them personal, some of them which one of them was that I was living in a very noisy building, so it was practically impossible for me to record games. After that, my microphone bugged out, and just today I got a new one, so I can get back to casting these games. So I'll be notifying the nice people who sent me these games, and hopefully they will not think I'm a total douchebag for taking roughly six months to to cast these games now spinal is coming he is seeing that this is probably kale's first barracks as well he doesn't see the, the workshop here i wonder if Kale is going for a kata drop a catapult drop but now he has a nice economy he has two barracks while his opponent has only one Mm, look at that. Both of them are going for hidden workshops. I wonder what they'll be doing with, with those. So yeah, I was just recording another game of both of these players, but I had a little problem. I didn't configure my audio recording software very well, so I ran out of space. This despite having over 50 gigs left on my hard drive. But, to be honest, that other game wasn't very good at all. So, well, I'm looking at a very likely catapult drop here, which means that Spino is gonna make an airship here, he's gonna take the catapults he builds, and use this to, to attack his opponent. Meanwhile, Ko is just with the workshop. He doesn't have a, uh, an advanced mages guild, which 
would produce, oh, I'm sorry, an advanced workshop, which would produce the airship. And he's making two catapults. They will be pretty good for defense here, since the catapults can just stay right here in their spawn point and attack a big area down here. So as, as I was saying, I failed to record the other game properly, but that was fine because the game wasn't very good. This game here is probably gonna be better. Anyways, Spino is doing the same thing here. He has these catapults, which are gonna... He's trying to hide the catapults, but it's not gonna work. At least now, once again, Kao is in uh, an advantage, advantage here as far as information is, is concerned. Because he has scouted everything there is to scout about his opponent. Even the fact that he is going for an attack right now. Let's see how he deals with this. It would be nice for him to produce a ballista. Because the ballista can deal with the airship. And possibly, with any luck take down this airship while both of these units, both of these catapults is inside here. So I'd like to thank Kale if he is watching this because he's the one that sent me those replays if I'm not mistaken S and it seems we're gonna have a pretty good game here. Look at this, Kale is well prepared, he has four archers that are gonna try to deal with this catadrop. Though catadrops at any point in time are very, very dangerous, very scary. Because you can see that just a few volleys of stones from the catapult is enough to do a lot of damage here. KO is not going for that ballista right now. So it seems he's fine, he's not gonna do a cata drop, a catapult drop right now, he's just gonna keep ma making catapults for his defense. Meanwhile, they are both pretty much um, the same economically. You can see both of them have roughly the same amount of gold mined. Kao is getting his third base working right now so yeah this game is pretty much stabilized and it's a lot nicer than the previous game that crashed if I do say so myself so oh I didn't see this Spino is has changed his build he has transitioned from a pure barracks build and with uh, mech elements to, uh, to two wolves then. Wolves then. Which is pretty interesting. Let's see what he's gonna do with this. So, this is nice. Oh, here's a big attack coming. Let's take a quick look. Sounds that he's gonna... He's taking all his... K is taking all his units with this. So the, the red base there in the north of the map would be undefended if Spino were to take one of these airships for a counterattack. But doesn't matter because these attacks seem to be pretty good right now. Though let's see if these archers can survive both the wolves and the catapults here defending and it seems that it they won't so now Kao is pretty much without defense for his bases so this would be the time for Spy Spinal to produce wolves get these wolves inside these airships and go for a counter-attack at least with one of these airships because there is it makes no sense for you to have two airships if you're not going to use them. 
The problem here is that besides the catapults, Spinal has very little for defense, so even this small army is getting a lot done, he's getting a lot of damage done. Which puts Kao in a in a good spot anyway, he's taking a lot of damage, but right now he's managed to do a lot of damage as well. If Spinal had taken these wolves here earlier to destroy the catapults, the game would be completely different right now. So seems this attack is dying out. And both players will have some time to reorganize. Spinal is gonna have to build more houses. Meanwhile, Kao is going for has built another workshop, which means in a lot of barracks, extra barracks, which means he's gonna keep pushing. This is gonna be his strategy. Even though he's not in the best place to attack, he's gonna keep attacking, no matter what. And... Making a somewhat hidden expansion here, I imagine. Yep. And this is gonna be his strategy. Even though they are pretty well balanced, he's gonna keep pushing and hope that with this, he's gonna be able to break Spinal's defense. This first wave here seems to be pretty effective. Spino is doing nothing right now to deal with this. It's almost as if he said, well, I'll just let my third base die. Okay, now he's coming in for the defense. But he really needs to get all his units. Look at all these units waiting here. What are you doing, Spinal? These units can't be parked here doing nothing at all. Yeah, bad move, bad move. Now he's getting his wolves here. But seems to me that even though the game was pretty much balanced, tied, when this attack first came, it seems that now KO has the better hand has the upper hand, because since Spinal came with less units here, the attacking army was able to crush the defense. And now he has two wolves doing nothing, and two wolves are really not gonna do much against over 10 or maybe 10 units. Meanwhile, more units coming, so I gotta say, Chaos strategy did work. He said, well, maybe I am tied with my opponent after the, the first attack ended. But instead of giving him the opportunity to recover, I'm going to keep attacking and hope that it will be enough to break his defenses. And as you can see, it worked pretty well. I would have sit back in my base and waited a little longer before continuing to attack but as you can see it would have been the a bad choice even now he's trading a few units to distract spinal while his main force is just slowly and slowly destroying the enemy's base. And what can Spino do now? He's almost mined out in his main. And there is no chance he can get an, another expansion going. Because look at his at Kao's army right here. And again, Kao is showing he is a very skilled player. Even though Spino isn't a bad player. He just made a, a few bad choices during the course of the game. One of them could be transitioning into wolves, because 
as you can see, the wolves did very little for him. And now he has two forges, yep, that's the name of this thing. Two forges that are doing absolutely nothing for him. Practically. And yeah, I'd say this game is over right now. How can Spino uh, destroy this army with only workers? He's not even trying because he knows he can't. So again, Spino is a pretty good player. He knows what he's doing, but this wasn't his game, unfortunately for him. But it was fortunate for us because we did watch a pretty good game. And I'll try to cast the other replays I have for you guys, but if you have watched this far, please take a look at the description. You'll see there is my email there, and you can send me your own replays if you want me to cast them. It would be very nice to have uh, more recent replays, because as I said, the ones I have are pretty old. Though, as you can see, the game hasn't changed much since these games were played, so hopefully it's still fun, entertaining and maybe even a good learning experience for us to watch these games. So thank you very much for watching, send me replays if you have them, or if you want to, you can save your future replays and send them to me. Thanks again for Kale for sending me this, this game right here. And dude, I hope I'm saying your name right, but you know, what can you do? Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.